prominently featured here, I'm sure you recognize, is Priest Holmes. Welcome back to Kansas City. Well, thank you. And you know, one of the things that brings me back is we have a phenomenal golf tournament that we're doing on October 22nd, so I'm really excited about doing that. But while I was here, I had a great opportunity to be here for the Hall of Honor. And I'll tell you what, some of the things that I'm looking at today, I tell you what, fans have to be a part of this and witness what's going on here at Arrowhead Stadium. Priest, you were such a great part of so much of this history. What does it do to you when you walk through and you see some of the former Chiefs greats and you see part of the history that you were a part of? Well, the majority of times when fans would come through Arrowhead, they would not get a chance to see some of the greatness that have been done and laid the groundwork times before. But right now, I believe fans can come through these hallways, through this corridor, and they get a chance to see and not forget and remember some of the great players that have helped the Kansas City Chiefs be what they are today. You had so many great highlights out on that field. Do you have one moment that stands out for you that you always carry with you as a Kansas City Chief? Well, absolutely. Just recently, right when I got here, I walked out and I had a chance to look at the field, and it just reminded me of all the practices and all the games, <laughs> but most importantly, the 70,000 fans I remember. I just pictured everyone being in those stands and me scoring another touchdown. And I'll tell you what, that's about as close as I'm going to get to scoring a touchdown is in my mind, but I'll tell you what, it was really exciting to know that the fanship here is always going to be here in Kansas City. I'm thinking of all the great touchdowns you scored, all the records. You're thinking of the practices out there. That's what it was all about for you guys, though, wasn't it? It was the guys, the Trent Greens and the Tony Gonzalez's, and being part of that that offense. We may never see another offense like that in, in the NFL. Well, you know what? There's always going to be time for time to repeat itself, and I believe there's going to be a stand-up players that are going to come aboard and emerge here with the Kansas City Chiefs, and they're going to definitely bring back some of the things that we've done in the past, but so what? It's what you're doing today. It's about moving forward. Progress is here, and I'm really excited about what's taking place here. And the Hunt family has done a phenomenal job in bringing not only the city, but also their dollars here and resources to make this city what it is. Thomas Jones, Jamal Charles in the backfield now. They're maybe as a dual back this this year, perhaps, or you see one of those guys taking the lead. Or nowadays, do you need two good running backs to carry the load? I really believe so. I believe since Marshall Falk days, and then it just kind of transpired that right now you have to have two good backs because at any point one of those those backs can go down and right now with Jones and, and Charles it's a tandem that can be really exciting it's just time will tell and we'll see exactly what they can bring to the table Bruce I know you're continuing your charitable work here in Kansas City tell me a little bit more about that golf tournament how can folks get involved absolutely they can log on to priestomesfoundation.org and it's October 22nd I'm excited because I'll be back here again I believe that's Raider week so that's gonna be pretty exciting I get a chance to be a Raider hater once again all right Priest Holmes thank you very much very nice to see you again thank you all right Priest. now the current Chiefs are getting